how to keep your plants alive using string and a milk jug and water. Hi flipping friends, it's Shonda. Here at Shonda Flips we're going to talk about plant watering while you're away on vacation. I'm going to set these plants up on life support today and I'm going to take you along with me. We'll see if this works. Fingers crossed that it's going to work, but we're escaping. Goodbye zone four. We're going to go to like almost zone six. It's going to be great. I'm going to see buds and leaves on the trees and flowers growing out of the ground, not just in my window. So exciting. So exciting. Life support. A lot of these plants are not going to need a whole lot of life support. The geranium, the mint, the thyme, and the basil here are not going to need a whole lot of life support because they are pretty hardy. A lot of my plants can last the week without being watered, but I'm going to be gone for two. So that's why the milk jug is here. Handy dandy milk jug always. We're going to do it a couple of different ways. One, the way I showed you in my six tips where, uh, for milk jugs video. Here's the card you can find right over here. Put the link right up there. The six tips for milk jug video if you haven't watched that. I'm going to use one of those tips and then I'm going to show you how to keep your plants alive using string and a milk jug and water. Hopefully it works. So we'll see if it works a little that's fine. If it saves them at all that's great. I have not cleaned this area in a while, so I'm going to use a little YouTube magic and get it cleaned up. Ready for this? YouTube magic! Oh no, why didn't that work? Okay, magic! Oh yeah, much better. Thank you YouTube fairies for cleaning my everything off. It looks so nice now. Have this peaches and cream. 100% cotton yarn in the stash downstairs that I'm going to be using. I'm going to set this up tonight and we're going to see how much of the water it actually pulls out, see if it works to see whether I need to do something different. Step one, get a milk jug full of water. Step two, step two, water your plants thoroughly. Now we're going to take our string and dip it in the water. I should have a different thing of water for this. Go in. In, in, in. It's sinking slowly. It doesn't want to sink. Boop. Boop. Let's see if those people on the internet know anything. I got this tip off of one of those quick and easy ways to save your plants. Blah, 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 blah. Well, we'll see. So it should, we should bury this in there, and it should wick over to the mint. That's the idea. That's what we're planning for. Put that in the wet soil. Okay. IV set up. Check. Number one. We just need a few more. Push that into the soil. Cover it up a little bit. Be tight or loose. But the idea is the water wicks out and runs along and goes into the soil. That's the idea. I've never tried it. We're trying it. And now I'm going to elevate this just a little bit. Set it on top of this one that doesn't, isn't producing. Water comes up, wicks out, goes into the wet soil. The soil is drying faster, so it's pulling the moisture along. So as this all dries out, we'll see if it works. 
Now I'm going to do one for my beautiful, beautiful lemon. The baby. That's the one I really want to save out of all of them. For the baby lemon, I want to do a drip irrigation, poking a tiny, tiny hole and letting it drip into the pot. So I got a hole in it. It was too big, so I put a bit of duct tape on it and it is now slowly dripping into the lemon. Slowly dripping into the lemon. Well, flippin' friends. <laughs> I'm gonna call you flippin' friends from now on because Shonda flips, flippin' friends. Yeah, I like it. It kinda sounds like a cuss word. We're a little edgy. You'd never know it, but we are. Life support set up for the plants. Check. Check. I hope you learned something. Pray for my plants. <laughs> Until next time, thank you. Have a great day. Bye.